In this screencast, I'm going to talk about the very basics of getting started with using iMovie on an iPad for creating a book trailer. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to locate the iMovie app and open it. Once you open it, um, you may be brought to a page that looks like this if you've already started projects before. You're going to click the plus sign in the right upper hand part of the screen and you can either choose movie or trailer. For this particular example, we're going to be working with the movie feature. So press movie on the left, and then you're gonna select a theme just by scrolling through and picking one that you think is gonna work for the book that you're creating your book trailer for. Once you have your theme, you're gonna press create movie, and now you're ready to add the photos that you've been saving for your book trailer. So what you'll do is you're gonna click on photos up in the upper right hand side of the screen, choose camera roll, and then you're gonna just simply click on each photo and drop them into the order that you would like them to appear. And most of your photos will deal with important objects and characters and that kind of thing. Okay, the other thing that you can do is you can change the amount of time that the photo is appearing in the movie. So you'll notice that this movie right now is 23.3 seconds. If I click on a photo, um, a yellow box will appear around it and I can just put my finger on it and hold the side of the yellow box and drag it. And you'll see that the time of my movie is increasing. Now, if I got a photo in there that I did not want, all I would have to do is press the photo so that it's highlighted and then press the garbage can on the bottom right hand side and that will delete the photo from the mix. If I wanted to add a photo um, in a different place, I would just need to drag it so that the white line is where I want to add the photo and then I can select a photo from underneath camera roll and it will put that in. And there's a those are the very basic ways that you can work with the photos that you've selected for your book trailer using iMovie on the iPad.